Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of Generative Erase, one of the new AI-powered tools in On One Photo Raw 2025. If you're looking for more information about Photo Raw 2025 in general, I've got another video that goes through all of the different uh, new features that are in. Link is in the show notes. And if you're thinking about adding On One Photo Raw 2025 to your toolkit or any of the other On One tools, Check the show notes. If you can use my offer code, it'll save you money and give me a little support and let me do other videos like this. So generative erase, uh, this is a, a pretty nifty tool. I mean, if you can use a paintbrush, you can use generative erase to do some uh, really quick uh, retouching jobs uh, with, uh, with very little effort leveraging AI. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna erase these two metal posts that are in front of this uh, abandoned house. And there's a lot of detail that's behind these posts, windowsills and wood slats, and, you know, corners of boards and things. You know, that's, a, that's a lot of heavy lifting to do with clone stamp or with other retouching tools. And I've done that on this photo in the past, and it takes a while. I mean, you know, better part of an hour, really, to do both, to do it really well. Well, with, uh, with the generative eraser, this got a whole lot easier. So you open up your retouch tools, make sure you have the generative Eraser chosen. The controls are simple. You have the size of a brush. Are you painting in or are you erasing? And the erasing is really like if I paint in, I'm just going to cover the thing that I want to erase. And if I had like a stray brush stroke, well, now I have a race and I can tame that back in and just cover the thing that I want to erase. You definitely want a little bit of uh, coverage beyond the boundary of your object. Click the I button in the toolbar to get some tips on using the generative eraser. And in the gear menu, you have a choice of which AI model to apply for the generative erase. You can use local gen AI, you can use stability AI, which requires a little bit of setup. I've got different videos on what the two models are, the benefits and drawbacks of them, and if you decide to try out Stability AI, how to go and set that up. But using the tool is the same. Doesn't matter which model you use, local gen AI, Stability AI, the way that the tool works, same way. Paint over the object you want to get uh, erased, and then hit the green button in the toolbar. On one thinks about it for a little bit, does its work, and says, okay. I've gotten rid of that, and it did a pretty nice job. Got rid of that uh, that brush there. Uh, I built, rebuilt that corner. If you don't like it, undo, and you can do it again. In this case, I noticed it left a little bit of an artifact on the edge on the right side. So I'm going to increase my brush stroke there a little bit more and try it again. And that produced a better result. And I can do the same thing for the next one. You'll notice over on the upper right hand side as I paint over this and let generative erase do its thing. Let's make sure I get outside of that post a little more. Go ahead and hit the button again. It's putting all of the uh, erased results on a new layer and that's pretty good. It really built, rebuilt those, uh, those lines there. I see a little bit of uh, an artifact in the windowsill. I can undo Redo that again, make sure I'm adding a little, maybe a little more context for that erase. Try it one more time. Okay, that gave me a better result. And the uh, when you're all done, you hit the checkbox there. But you notice that it creates a new layer for you. So if I turn this off, there's my original. You know, and there's what I did with the retouching. And you saw me do an undo and retry a couple of times there. That's uh, general for you know AI workflow, right? Where uh, you you do that retouch, don't quite like what you got, undo. That selection is maintained. You can change the selection a little bit and run it again, and you you get uh, you know slightly uh, better results depending on what you're changing, right? You're you're trying to get that best result you can. Uh, I will just show you briefly. You know, here's a different rendition of local gen AI where you see it, that that one came out even better. I think I was just um more precise with my brush strokes, especially over this second post. And then I did the same thing with Stability AI, and you'll see, you know, the results are, well, different. It's a different model. Uh, it decided to replace these wood slats um, in, a, in a different way. Uh, either of them are, you know, I guess arguably correct because I don't really know what was behind that. 
but you can uh, you can see that you'll get some 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 variation with each one of the models as you apply it but i just went through like four or five different trials on removing these very challenging posts with generative eraser and it took what less than 10 minutes to go through all of that it would have taken me triple the time just to do that once with a lot of effort with the older tools so it's a nice addition to photo raw 2025 uh, very simple to use if you can use a paintbrush you can use generative eraser hope you found the video useful questions drop them below and until next time my name's scott davenport have fun